Good morning, y'all. Um, what I have here that you're seeing is a linden tree. You can identify these because the trees have heart-shaped leaves. And once they start coming into bloom, I'm sorry, I forget what this extra leaf is called, but there's an extra leaf that comes with the flower attached. Right now, this tree has not got to that stage yet where I'm able to reach it. It must at the top because the smell is just intoxicating. It has the smell of honeysuckle, lilac. You know, it's one of those kind of just beautiful smells that wafts in. And, oh, uh, this is the tree that linden honey comes from when the bees pollinate it. And you can eat these, the leaves as well, too. They are kind of sticky and, and sweet. You want to get them while the, before all the, the flowers have matured out. That's the best time for gathering. There are many different kinds of linden trees. This one is basically American linden, or Tilia americana, is what it's also called here. What I do with this is I make a tea, and it's good for respiratory problems. I'm not a doctor, not a pharmacist. I'm a nobody. I'm just saying what works for me. But they do help treat respiratory problems, colds, flus, bronchitis. It's one of those herb, uh, one of those plants that make you sweat, and it helps with coughs and sore throats and congestion, because this tea in itself produces mucilage. Let's just be real clear. You kind of get a slimy flavor that comes with this, but when your throat is really hurting a lot, it coats your throat, goes down, helps coat your lungs, and honestly, it does feel better. It also is said to reduce stress, anxiety. It's good for your gallbladder, your liver. It is an antioxidant. Um, it can help with stomach cramps. They're looking at it for lowering high blood pressure. Just a lot of things it does. Before you go and consume this, though, I would say to you, do your research and don't start out just by gulping something, obviously. Check what medications you're on. Do your research. Don't ever take mine nor anybody else's word for anything that you're going to consume in your body. It's your body, and you have to do your diligence and know if, you know, you might have allergic reactions. You know, it's simple things like that. Personally, it doesn't bother me, but that doesn't mean it's not going to adversely affect someone else. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this, and I've included a close-up picture of what you're looking for. You can see the little nuts that are attached right now. Um, that have not flowered yet at the bottom, and some people do eat those nuts as well. Yeah, they just don't work for my teeth. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, this is Linden, the linden tree. The tea is very good. You just got to get past the mucilage in it. I do want to, again, state that. Uh, but it's other than that, it tastes very pleasant, except the flavor is very pleasant. How about if I put it that way? Very pleasant flavor. A lot of us are really into the herbs and things, but sometimes we forget the trees. We look at them as for fruits and things like that. But, you know, you have the willow tree, which is where aspirin comes from. You have pine trees which are so high in vitamin C, and you can make pine tree tea. I make my own pine oil, but do again investigate these trees. Not all pines are, are healthy for human beings. So do your research before you go out and just start picking and grabbing and putting things in your body. That part's on you. Y'all have a great day. God bless you.